Good evening, and welcome to another one of my segments of A Verse A Day Keeps the Muslims Away. Today I would like to talk about WWMD. What would Muhammad do? I'd, today, today's message is, what does it take to become a true Muslim? What kind of message did Muhammad set forth for his followers? Every religion, every creed, every dogma has a role model, has a concept, has some sort of idea that people try to follow, people try to live by, people know that this is the way, this is the path of righteousness. So let's see what Mr. Mo had set forth for generations to come. First, I'd like to share with you a couple of verses from Surah Al-Anfal, uh, Al-Quran, chapter 8, uh, verse 60. And prepare against them what, <clears throat> what force you can, and horses tied to the frontier, to frighten thereby the enemy of Allah, and your enemy, and others. So here we're talking about, do whatever you can to frighten your enemy. And by the way, in Arabic, instead of frighten, it's really talking about Turhibun. Irhab is to terrorize, comes from terrorism. So things haven't really changed over the past fifteen hundred years. The next one I really want to go to is verse sixty-five, where it says, O Prophet, urge the believers to war. If there are 20 patient ones of you, they shall overcome 200. I'm just going to stop right there. O oh, believers, urge them to war. I'd like to move on to the next uh, surah. Surah Al-Tawbah, the book of repentance. Al-Quran, chapter 9, verse 113. It is not fit for the Prophet and for those who believe that they should ask for forgiveness for those who don't believe, who, for the unbelievers, even though they should be near relatives, after it has become clear to them that they are inmates of the flaming fire. So, what kind of message was Muhammad? is the Qur'an setting for every single Muslim. One, it's telling Muslims to terrorize those who do not believe. Two, it's telling the believers to wage war against the non-believers. And three, it's telling the believers and the Muslims and O oh, Prophet to not even ask for forgiveness for those who don't believe. What kind of message is that? What kind of person says that this is a religion I am leading? I am here in the name of God telling you to wage war, to kill, to terrorize, to ask for non-forgiveness. Seriously, put aside the fact that he is your prophet and think about it. If you see a person standing on the corner of the street saying, kill, hate, ask for not forgiveness. Do you even consider thinking that that person is a good man? So, in other religions, there's a notion of let us forgive others. Let us be kind to others. This is a message of peace, of prosperity, of hope, of kindness. Yet, we are told that this is the religion of peace even though it's telling you to hate, it's telling you to wage war, it's telling you to terrorize, it's telling you to not forgive. How can you call this a religion of peace? You need to make peace within yourself, you need to forgive yourself, For you need to forgive your past, you need to make peace with your past, make peace within your present, in order to claim 
that you live a religion of peace and strive to live in a peaceful world. That's all I have to say for today. You have a good night and see you soon.